Hey guys, um, I'm sorry that there's no gaming videos today, but there's some stuff on my mind that I really need to get off my chest a little bit. As I'm sure you guys all know by now, a YouTuber by the name of Etika took his own life um, the other day, and it stirred up a lot of feelings, because I did watch his video called I'm Sorry. Now, I didn't personally know Etika, I didn't know his content before this, but having watched the I'm Sorry video, he brings up so many points in that video, which I think relate heavily to anyone that does what we do here on YouTube, or in entertainment in general. Look, the first thing I want to say is that Mental health is nothing to be ashamed of. Um, mental health does not mean that you're weak. It does not mean that you're weak. And there's always, there's always help out there for people who need it. There was an interesting point that he brought up in the I'm Sorry video where he talks about his image. I was saying and doing things that made no sense. All because I was too scared to drop my image. It was interesting to hear him talk about upholding an image and trying not to show your real kind of emotions, your real feelings, and feeling like you kind of have to guard your audience from all that shit. Which I think relates to a lot of people who do what we do here on YouTube, creating content. You guys see a snippet of our lives, but that's not the full picture. We show you the best parts of our lives. We show you a small snippet of our day. We don't show you everything that's happening in our day, unless even with daily vloggers and stuff, you're still not getting the full picture. It was interesting that he brought up image and upholding an image in this video. Um, and if you're in a very kind of vulnerable state at the moment, I don't recommend that you go and sort out this video because it, it really is, it's a hard video to watch. It's a really hard video to watch. And the other thing that was brought up in that video was about kind of rejecting help, um, which seem, it seems that every time that we talk about these serious issues that either help is not available in the person's mind, they don't see that there's help available, or they reject the help because they don't want to seem weak. And let me emphasize this again. Mental health, mental issues, feeling depressed, feeling in a state of suicide is not weakness. It's not. And being stuck in that spiral of negative thoughts, negative emotions, really does start to eat away at you after a while. And it sucks that Situations like this are the only times that we speak about mental health. By tomorrow or next week, this will be old news. People will go off, you know, and play the latest games or, as as he said in the video, play the latest games or watch the latest movies. But it shouldn't be that we have these conversations during these times. Now, I know that I'm kind of hypocritical because I'm talking about this after an incident like this has happened. But if you speak to any of my friends in real life, this is a conversation we have all the time. Because a lot, all of us stream together on different platforms. All of us play video games together in the public eye. This is a conversation that we have every time that we catch up. And it's a shame that more people don't have these conversations. Now, I'm obviously not monetizing this video. I don't get monetization on this channel because we are a small channel, but 
I don't want to claim any monetization on this channel because I don't think that that's right for anyone to be capitalizing off of a tragedy. But I hope in some ways the message that we take away from this is that mental health does not mean that you are weak. It is not a sign of weakness to reach out for support when needed. And to anyone that is affected by this, as I said, I didn't know him personally. I didn't know his content, but it brought up a subject that me and my friends talk about all the time. And it's a subject that I think about constantly when I'm recording videos. It's a, it's a subject of holding up an image to the world and not letting people see the bad side of what you're dealing with. And I felt like I really wanted to talk about that today. So I hope that this video and videos that are talking about this sparks some kind of conversation. That's what I hope. I hope that they spark some kind of conversation. I hope that they spark someone that's going through similar situations to reach out for that help, to know that it's not a sign of weakness to reach out for that help. Um, if you or someone that you know is going through anything right now, I've left numbers down below for suicide prevention hotlines. If you feel like a friend of yours needs help, make the call. Make the call even if it turns out that they're not going through it, make the call. Because letting them know that you are supportive and you are here to help, that's powerful. I'm sorry that we took up a video today on this, but I really need to get my thoughts out. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a gaming video. Stay safe. Um, and to anyone that's affected by this tragedy, I'm sorry. And it's an awful thing that happened and my, my thoughts and prayers are, are with all of you right now. Thank you.